Brian Wilson, Mary Catherine Hamm, Brian Neiman, today's newsmakers, and you, the morning majority. AM 630. Spotlight on New Hampshire these days, that's for sure. Big debate on Saturday night, then the Meet the Press debate on Sunday, and of course the primary is tomorrow. We've got it covered for you here on WMAL. Tucker Carlson from the Daily Caller joins us. Do you have any thoughts on the passing of our good friend Tony Blankley? Tony was a was a really was just a great guy. I ran into Tony recently and had a kind of poignant, I looking back, poignant conversation with him. I, I knew that he'd been ill. I thought he was fine. And he said to me, sort of out of the blue, he said, you know, you always think life's going to be longer than it actually is. It's always kind of a surprise. And I thought, oh, boy, those are words to meditate on. And that was literally the first thing I thought when someone called me yesterday with with the news. And I, you know, if there's if there's one thing, I don't know, that I loved about Tony, he had perspective uh, like that, that very few people I know do. He could sort of take the long view uh, on life. Yeah, so, he was, yeah. It's a sad. It's a really sad thing. It really is. He was a wonderful guy, and and, and an animal lover person. too. I should just point out, he was a passionate lover of animals and had a lot of a lot a whole zoo basically at his <laughs> uh, at his at his house. Yeah, I heard, I, heard, I heard that, and then it was a child actor in the beginning, and uh, was still well versed in pop culture. And he would come into the studio, and he he knew everything that was going on in the world, not just politics. Oh, and a fantastic amazing. spokesman, too. He did. I mean, I remember covering Newt in the 90s, and Tony was a spokesman, of course, and he'd always be off to the side having a cigarette and sort of telling you, <laughs> like, you know, stuff that was both helpful to his boss but also sort of honest. I mean, he had a, a kind of critical distance from his boss and from himself that a lot of spokesmen I deal with now don't have. I mean, they completely buy in. They're, they're you know, Jonestown folks, and they... They never vary from the party line. Tony never insulted you by trying to get you to believe something you knew was untrue. He treated you like an adult, and I appreciated that a lot.